Hello, hello, hello. We'll give it a few minutes for people to join. I should center this or it's going to bother me. It's a little better. Oh, so we'll see if we get anyone to pop in. I still have to come up with some kind of like non-copyrighted hold music that I can play while I'm waiting for people to arrive. I can figure something out. Uh, but yeah, so... Hey, what's up, Dan? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I have these two um, SDCC uh, Transformers trading card game sets that I wanted. I've been wanting to open them for a while. Uh, kind of forgot that I had them, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> they kind of got buried under some other stuff. And I just kind of recently found them. And I was like, oh, hey, I should open these. I'll just throw up a live stream. Hey, Joseph, thank you for joining. Hello, Jaren. So I'll give it like another 30 seconds to a minute or so. Then we'll go ahead and jump into these. So I believe both of these um, were available on Hasbro Pulse after the convention. I actually had my sister picked these up. Joseph Martin. Am I saying that correctly? Martin? Martin? I guess it's probably Martin. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, but I was saying my sister actually uh, picked this up for me at the show. She went to SDCC. Um, so she picked this up for me at the show. And then this I got later on uh, Hasbro Pulse. There were very many of these available. So for all I know, these might still be available. I don't know. <laughs> um yeah, the G, that's the reason I wanted it. I believe there is, and I think it actually came out recently, there is a normal... Hey, Adam Prime. There's a normal art version of this Blaster and Soundwave box. And um, that's like the normal retail release. They did the old 80s box art for this special SDCC set. Hey, Orville. Hello and welcome. So I'll, I'll probably... Let's do the... I'll do the Omnibots first. Um, I'll be honest, I don't have a ton of experience with the Omnibots. I think they were... Hey, what's up, Shook? Dresden. Hello, Psalmist. Um, so yeah, so basically, I don't know too much about the Omnibots. I believe they were mail-away toys back in the day. Very similar to like Reflector or the Power Dashers. So I'm going to try to open this up. Do I care about keeping the pack? Probably not. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how badly I open it. That's actually... Wow, that, that opened quite perfectly. I did not expect that. Yeah, I haven't really played the game much either, to be honest. Me and Shook played it one time over Skype. And I think that's like the only time I ever played it. <laughs> but I like the, the game. All right, here we go. Downshift, overdrive, and camshaft. So I'm going to shift this slightly. So these are pretty cool. I'm really excited to add these to the collection. I feel like I have, well, that's not true, but most of the like packs and, and one-off things I have, I don't have, what was that convention pack that had like Cliff Jumper? And I think there was a Decepticon too. I don't have that. But, um, and then like for the normal retail releases, obviously I don't have everything. I need to buy more packs, but I feel like that's attainable fairly easily. He does kind of look like Wheeljack, doesn't he? <laughs> I was just thinking the same. This guy looks kind of like Wheeljack. It's like Wheeljack and Trax married into one. Have I thought about playing video games? Um, yeah, I guess I've thought about it. I don't really have any of the equipment needed to set that up, though. I'll be honest. I guess I could look into that. But I'm also worried about... I'm pretty paranoid about, like, copyright claims and things getting taken down. I play video games on Twitch sometimes. Um... Like, if I have anything on my PS4, because I can just hit the button and start broadcasting it on Twitch. 
So sometimes I'll do that for fun. But I haven't done that in a while because I haven't really had anything to play um, on PS4. Maybe when uh, Fallen Order comes out, Jedi Fallen Order. Or is it, right? This, the new Star Wars game. Whenever that comes out, maybe I'll stream some of that. Um, because on PS4, it's really easy to do. You literally just, you know, you hit the button, you tell it, okay, tweet this link out, boom, you're good to go. So I do stream on Twitch occasionally. The last thing I used to, I'm trying to think, I think I did Spider-Man a little bit when Spider-Man was out. I did uh, Dragon Ball Fighters with a Z on the end when that was out. And it's fun. I did a little bit of Battlefront 2 as well. I might go get my cards and see what I have. Oh, and speaking of Will Jack, apparently the room to make a seat. Yeah, I would like to see a Wee... Uh, oh, he said a Weege Seal Jack. Wow. It's, apparently I'm tired. A Siege Wheel Jack. <laughs> now I kind of want to see a Weege Seal Jack. I feel like that would be like a Luigi Seal Hybrid. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, Siege Wheel Jack would be awesome. I would also like to see a Wheel Jack in Cyberverse with uh, armor. I really like the battle class, the smaller of the two. Um, the elite class is okay, but the gimmicks get in the way sometimes. So I kind of like the armor that you just take apart and, and put on the figure. So give me everything in the battle class. What should you get for dinner? I don't know. I've been dreaming about Taco Bell for the last couple days. So you can I can live vicariously through you if you get Taco Bell. Power Morphicon 2020 falls on the 4th through 6th, which I can't go because that falls on Labor Day and I'm still in school. Yeah, it, that is a weird choice. Uh, a lot of us kind of think that they moved back to Pasadena too late and didn't have that many um, dates available. And so they had to choose uh, Labor Day because it, it kind of threw a lot of us. It's a, it's a weird choice. It's definitely not something that I think most people would prefer. I mean, Dragon Con is always Labor Day weekend. So I guess that works for them. But I feel like... I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're established to always have it the same date every year. But it's a weird choice for Morphicon, I agree. You could play Flash games on the computer. Um, I guess I could do that. I'm also a streamer on Twitch and YouTube just followed you on Twitch. Awesome. Thanks, Almost. You said Taco Bell. My friend said Taco Bell and YouTube gave me an ad for Taco Bell. Well, first of all, YouTube gave you an ad for Taco Bell because it can hear you talking about it because that's how the world works now. Your phone listens to you and when you say things then it throws ads at you based on what you said. So that's less of a sign, but okay, your other friend and I both said Taco Bell. Yes, I'll give you that. So either way, you're going to get Taco Bell, so you're a winner. Taco Bell is delicious. Um, okay, so I've gotten through all the comments. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. I'm very excited about this. It's got two large foil and six small foil. So you're getting eight characters in here, which is kind of cool. I remember when I first found out that this was like 40 or 50 bucks, I thought, wow, that's a lot for this. And I was wondering if it was just the usual convention inflation. Um, but you're actually getting like twice as many characters as usual, because usually you get like four cards and this has eight. So... Let's see if we can go ahead. Where do I open this? From the top? From the bottom? From the side? Oh, do I have to rip? I have to rip this beautiful box? That makes me sad. All right. Well, I'll try to do this with as little damage as possible. That's not too terrible. Oh, for a second I thought that there was an easier way to open it on the bottom and I got sad that I had to rip the top. But that could be worse. All right, we'll move this out of the way. Let me see if I can read these comments. Maybe when I graduate from school, I think 2021 because I graduate in 12th grade, so maybe that would give me the time. Yeah, I guess, see, the thing is, I don't... We'll see if they have another one, but they're every two years. So if they had another one, it would be 2022. By then, you should definitely be set. You don't eat Taco Bell. What is going on that? Gotta let you Taco Bell. All right, so here is Blaster. 
in his full, beautiful 80s retro design. So it says, when you flip to this mode, deploy a mini cassette from under this to a battlefield in bot mode. When you do, play the top card of your deck. Okay. So he transforms into the tape deck. You don't eat tacos. Tacos are delicious. I love Mexican food. It's super good. You should definitely, you, there's got to be something. I mean, it's usually just meat, cheese, and vegetables. You got to, what's not to like? It's delicious. So your starting star limit increases by one for each mini cassette on your starting team. This starts the game with all mini cassettes on your starting team under it. And then he transforms and he deploys a cassette. That's kind of cool. All right, and then same over here for Soundwave, I assume. Deploy a mini cassette, yes. So he's got no attack when he's in cassette mode. I think that makes sense. Let's see. Open up this next tray. Several layers of trays here. All right, we're starting over here with Ravage. Maybe I can get a little bit closer to these. The holofoil is very nice. Do at least two damage when attacking, but not more than attack total. Then we got Buzzsaw. Now, I think in the Siege line, weren't there... Like, I think there was a Ravage and maybe a Laser Beak. I don't remember offhand, though. Here's Frenzy, or Rumble, depending on what camp you fall into. Hasbro's really leaning into that this is Frenzy, though, I gotta say. All the reissue toys, these cards, I saw it somewhere else. They're really uh, committing to the fact that this is Frenzy. In complete disregard of the original G1 cartoon. I got Runabout, Ion Storm, Chromia, Spark Stalker, Sideswipe, Multiple Starscream, RC Optimus Sludge. Nice, that's a pretty good collection there. What do I think about Big Firebird, Nice, aka G1 Masterpiece, RC, Wei Jang, Computron? What? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Big Firebird. I'm saving up for PS4 because I am planning on getting Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Oh, there you go. Steel Jaw, looking pretty good. I don't know, there's just something about the cassettes that were always really fun for me. I don't know why I liked them so much, but I did. Ram Horn. Pretty excellent. And then last but not least, we have Eject. Factionless Transformer? I don't know. Um, I guess I'm okay with it. <laughs> I mean, I assume, are you talking about just like in a used in a story or something? Or do you have one in mind? Oh, so we actually get two packs of cards. Okay, so this is really like two full starter packs in one which now kind of makes sense why it's double the price siege had ravage and laser beak siege 2 is supposed to have rap bat and probably rumble all right very cool because we should have although where's we need rewind then where's rewind maybe he'll be in siege 3 the siegening all right let me get these out of the way in the background for some ambiance. I thought about making a custom one without a faction symbol that hates Autobots and Decepticons. Oh, there you go. That sounds like a good story plot point. You could have uh, 
you know, he hates the war or something. He's like a pacifist, so he doesn't doesn't join either side, something like that. That could be cool. So yeah, we need laser beak, rat bat, and rewind. Siege needs to have a blaster before they can do rewind. The ones in the siege set are spy patrol micromasters, not mini cassettes. I assume you're talking about the toy line needs a blaster? Because I agree with that. I mean, the Titans Return one wasn't bad, to be honest. But they did a sound wave back then as well, and they've already redone sound wave. I will say the Siege sound wave is better than the uh, Titan Returns one. Not that the Titan Returns one is terrible. It's not. But for some reason, I felt like... Oh, I meant the cards, but yes. <laughs> For some reason, I felt the Titan's Return mold just worked better for Blaster than it did for Soundwave. I don't know why. Um, but it was okay for Soundwave. But I think the Siege one is a much better toy. Wouldn't Blaster just be a recolor of Soundwave? I mean, they could. I kind of hope they don't. I mean, they didn't do it back in G1. They don't always need to do that. Plus, they're already repainting that as Sound Blaster. So I feel like they're already getting their repaint out of it. Because, I mean, Blaster really is, like, a complete different design. Recover Cassette. If you have Blaster or Soundwave on the battlefield, you may put one of your mini cassettes from the battlefield under if you do repair two damage from your character. Oh, that's cool. Daring Counterattack. Get a couple of those. What's up, masked mercenary Magnum? Flamethrower, that's an old one. Force field, grenade, yeah, these are all old. These are old ones. Although I'm backup beam. I don't know if I've seen that one before. Escape route. That's my boy Nightbeat. Handheld blaster, pep talk, vaporize. Okay, so it looks like you basically get, what, one, two, three, four, about four new cards that actually make sense. Vega Nova 55, I got a new user game. Oh, very cool. Oh, I like your new logo. Very neat. Very well done. Oh, here we go. We got the points. Can always use more points. I really, I, I really need Hasbro or Wizards or whoever actually makes these things to give some kind of, like, case for all of this that makes sense. Something that can hold, like, really nice large size cards as well as the smaller cards and the, you know, what do we call these? Battle cards, I guess. Oh, here we go. <laughs> inner groove oh it just gives him plus okay oh five nights at freddy movie huh so then yeah the rest of these are just old cards we've seen these before so at least five minutes ago on the other pile of cards smoke cloak that might be new i don't know if i have that card do I plan on getting Power Dash or Chromar? The only one I know that has it is Chefatron. How does Chefatron have it? Isn't he in Australia? I know he gets some stuff early, but I thought that was going to be a Hasbro exclusive. Or Hasbro Pulse, rather. Let's slide that guy in there. No. Ugh. Omnibots, you have ruined everything. Come on now. We had such a nice display going. Your stupid thing. Fine. Now you can hang back there. That's what you get. Um, anyway, back. What is his name? Chromar? He's the one that's a repaint of, of Six Gun, right? I mean, here's the thing. I would probably buy all three of them if they just sold them normally uh, on Hasbro Pulse. But... 
Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, because I was say, I thought he was in Australia, so he got a store release. Okay, interesting. I think here it's just going to be exactly like Zetar, where it's just going to be Hasbro Pulse, but I haven't seen a pre-order up for it yet. I guess I should probably check on that. If I can just buy them from Hasbro Pulse, I'll probably get them. The one that stinks is the first one, Aragon, Aragog, something like that. Um, he is... Um, in that three pack, that's like the Decepticon version of Impactor and the all translucent. I guess that's supposed to be like the invisible version of Mirage. And I just, I don't really care about Impactor or having like a second Impactor or Mirage. So I don't know what to do about that. Have I ever thought about doing reaction videos? I could. What, what kind of stuff, what should, what should I react to? Yeah, that's kind of where I feel too, Jaren. Like, I saw... Because that's the thing. So, they said, okay, you have to buy this three-pack to get this one f exclusive figure. And I'm like, okay, you've tried that. Yeah, but see, the thing is, I would I would rather have a normal... Like, the Impactor is not really that different, and I don't really know anything about that character. So, okay, fine. But I want a regular Mirage. Like, I don't want just the Invisible Mirage. Um... But anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this COG repaint, and I just, it doesn't look that great. Um, the Zetar, I love him. He's great. I reviewed him the other day. He's fantastic. I think the design is great. It's a great reuse of Brunt. Color scheme's nice. Um, really happy to have him. I haven't really seen, I think, I feel like I've seen pictures of Chromar, but just fast. And I don't really remember what it looks like, so I'll have to look that up again. Um... But I feel like he was like the second best one, and then I kind of feel like the repaint of Cog is the worst one because it's just like a big maroon blob, and it doesn't really look that great. So I guess it's good that of all the ones to hide in the three pack, it's the one I care about the least. So like I I'll probably just be able to let it go, but um, we'll see. When will we get a Siege G1 Bumblebee? Um, I would assume probably in the next whatever Siege 2 Electric Boogaloo. I don't know. Whatever they're going to call Siege Part 2. Um, because I think... Didn't we get those leaks where some like South Asian... Southeast Asian website leaked... Um, like a list of things and one of them was cliff jumper. So you're not going to make a cliff jumper without making a bumblebee, whether they do the pre tool first or if they do bumblebee first, I don't know, but I'm sure if you're going to make cliff jumper, you're going to make bumblebee. And I think it makes sense that kind of holding off to not jam so much bumblebee down our throats as per usual, uh, especially with him just having his own movie, let him breathe a little bit. Uh, and then put him in the whatever Siege 2 is going to be called. I don't know. Uh, let me go. I'm trying to get through these comments here. Um, who is the head? Who's heard of Toonami on Cartoon Network? Yes, obviously, Toonami's been around for a while. I think Toonami's pretty good. Impactor was the leader of the Wreckers before Springer, and Zetar looks awesome. I could pull off an anime drill super robot. Yeah, Zetar definitely gives me, like, a GoBots feel. Or, like you said, like an anime of some kind. Like, he, he doesn't look like a Transformer, and it's most likely because it was, you know, some other Japanese toy just passed off as a Transformer. Um, but I, I love him, regardless. I think he's great. Impactor, obviously, I think he's from the comics, so that's why I don't know him that well. Uh, but I guess he was an Autobot and then became a Decepticon, or is it vice versa? I'm not really sure how that works. Was he a Decepticon first and then went to an Autobot, or is it the other way around? I've been to Power Morphicon three years ago in 2016, and it was amazing. And me and my family went to the same Subway as Shuki. <laughs> yes, the famous Subway. Shuki does love his Subway. It looks like Unicron might not be a thing. Yeah, I don't know. They keep extending it. I would not be surprised if they extend it again. I think they really want it to happen. I'm sure they've already sunk a ton of money into the prototype, so, you know, they want it to happen. Um, it's, just, it's, a, it's a big chunk of change. It's a big commitment. I don't know. I, I mean, here's the thing. I want one, but 
do I want to spend 600 bucks on it? Not really. Also, it's so big. Like, where the heck would I put it? I have nowhere to put it. So I don't know. It's so big. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe in the zero hour, I'll, I'll cave and I'll order one. Action figure expert, hello and welcome. Oh, and Pactor's from UK comic books. Eh? Interesting. Does anyone else think that War for Cybertron Trypticon looks like Blot? War for Cybertron Trypticon. You talking about that game? Or is that a new... You talking about the toy that came out a couple years ago? I see you ate fresh as well. You could react to death battles, movie trailers, anything. I did not went to to you, Shuki, because I thought you would be wired. <laughs> oh, so you mean you literally, you ate there at the exact same time as him, but you were too intimidated to say hello? Shuki's pretty intimidating, I get that. Especially when he's eating his Subway, he does not like to be disturbed. Um, but yeah, if you guys want... <laughs> so yeah, so basically, uh, these are great. I like these cards quite a bit. I have to learn how to play the game. Well, that's not true. I, I have a general knowledge, but it's been so long I kind of forget. And there's a ton of new mechanics now. Um, <laughs> you're right, Chris. I know, right? I know. He's got to eat. He's got to eat his subway. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I think these are pretty cool. I definitely love the uh, '80s packaging art used for these. I think that's really fun. And that's why I was definitely something I knew I had to pick up. I don't know if I'm going to buy the normal versions of them. I think the normal set... Shoot, didn't the normal set come out recently, like a week ago or, or last week or something? The normal art blaster and sound wave uh, starter deck, I guess, for lack of a better term. I believe that's either out now or out very soon. I don't know if I'm going to pick that up or not. But I knew I had to have this one. Yeah, last Friday. Okay, so it is out now. Um, let me see. I saw something about Siege Selects Hotshot. Yeah, I think there was supposed to be that Cyber Defense Hotshot. Which is the, uh, the second version of him from Cybertron. What was he called? X-Kaiser or something in Galaxy Force? I don't remember. Um... Yeah, it's a neat idea. I think they were going to repaint slash retool Prowl, not Prowl, Hound, and uh, make him into Cyber Defense Hotshot. I don't know if that's still happening. I thought I read somewhere that it was going to be like a weird exclusive. So, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Power Morphicon, I got the driver from Gaim, and I got an orange banana and grape lock seed. Excellent. Sengoku driver, good stuff. Lock seed's always a good time. Oh, he does? What's the story with that? Isn't it like a weird cyber defense hotshot and it is a thing? Again, Chefatron has it. Check out his channel. What is it? Isn't it supposed to be like a weird... I remember hearing something about it's supposed to be a weird exclusive. Like, because I remember Corey was all upset. He's like, oh, that was the one Transformer I was going to buy and now I can't even get it. And I, I don't remember what the deal was. I'm sure in other countries it's different. It's, you know, it's just like... Chromar, where for us it's going to be like an exclusive to Hasbro Pulse or something, and they can just buy it at whatever store they buy toys. Yeah, it's already hit Asia. VR Troopers was going to be called Cybertron. That's true. I saw that. It was going to be a JDF vehicle. He's going to get his own shoe. I don't know how they would have done that, though, because I have to believe Hasbro had the word Cybertron trademarked already. I heard it was debuting. It'll go on post. Oh, okay. I mean, hey, that would be great if it's just you know, one of those things where NYCC and then they say, go on Hasbro Pulse today and buy it. Like, that'd be great. Because I will do that, and then I'll have it. Unless they send me another Nightbird. <laughs> what's her nuts? Is that Nightbird? Is that what you're talking about? Is that what's her nuts? Galactic Man is the... Oh, Lancer, yes. Um... Galactic Man is the gray sound wave, right? No, shockwave, shockwave. That's what it is. 
So yeah, hopefully that is just that easy. Hopefully just M NYC is uh, NYCC is this week, like a week from, well, this coming weekend. I want to find out where to get Weapon Master Smashdown and Siege Springer. I cannot find them. Um, I would try Amazon, honestly. Um, I think I got my Springer on Amazon. I think Smashdown... I think, actually, I think I got them both on Amazon. I think that's where I got both of mine. So I would definitely check Amazon. Can't wait for December and January. What's in December and January? My Siege Wish, my siege wish List. Hot Rod, Blitzwing, Galvatron. The Titan Return ones leaves. Yeah, I will agree. The, the Titan Returns Galvatron was not the best. Hot Rod, I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen one yet. Um... I mean, because that's the thing, like, you would say, oh, well, we just got a Hot Rod and a Blitzwing and Titans Return, but we also just got an Astro Train. They didn't stop them from giving us that, so, like, there's a couple things from Titans Return, Soundwave, again, uh, that they just don't seem to care, and they're just redoing them, so. I mean, again, I'm, I'm honestly surprised we haven't gotten a Hot Rod yet. I would like a new Blur, and I would like the Blur to be in his real color scheme because I loved the Titans return blur toy, but that weird turquoise color scheme was not the best. I'd like a more G one accurate color scheme. Uh, but other than that, very good stuff. Uh, definitely excited for Astro train, ape face, um, crosshairs. Who else is coming out? More micromasters. More Battle Masters. Omega Supreme should be really soon, actually. I think, like, Tuesday he's, like, officially released. So, should be a lot of good stuff happening. I definitely want Omega Supreme. I'm, I keep going back and forth on if I should wait for a sale or not. I don't really know if there's going to be any sales. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think he'll be, like, sold out, but we'll see. Uh, in any case, I guess that'll do it for this, unless you guys have any other questions quick. I'll probably wrap this up, but uh, yeah, very fun trading card packs, very excited for these. And uh, I need something to organize my cards, though. I definitely need Hasbro to do something, put out some kind of... Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Are you still in Singapore? We got the internet sensation sweeping the nation here. Jumping in the chat. Malaysia now. Awesome. Well, it looks like you're having a blast, man. That's awesome. Eating all kinds of delicious food. Seeing all kinds of beautiful things. I hope they release a Siege Insecticon pack. Maybe new Constructicons. Because Alien Combiner ones were kind of bad. Individually looking at your arms long haul. It's morning here, damn. That's crazy. Siege Insecticon pack. Yeah, that... I'm trying to think, when's the last time they did, what, one? Well, they did... They reissued that same shrapnel that they did from back in those little... Two packs with the, like, Micromaster slash... Uh, Target Mastery type things that they did. And then they did Bombshell in, was he in Combiner Wars? And then Kickback was in Titan's Return, right? Yeah, that sounds right. So, I don't know. I mean, those were nice. I thought those were fine. If they wanted to do some kind of new update to them, it could be cool. New con they, The Constructicons in uh, Combiner Wars, I have it. I haven't really opened it yet. <laughs> it's been some time. I need to... Spend a little time in there. Finish the Ranger Keys. Um, all right. Well, I thank you guys all for jumping in. And Hassan, totally awesome to talk to, man. I feel like we haven't talked to you in forever. Now that you're not allowed to play late at night, you can't do the podcast anymore. We miss you. <laughs> but I'm glad you're on vacation having a good time. That looks awesome. We're going to have to figure out something. Either we got to play some, some Switch or we got to maybe have an earlier podcast sometime or something. We got to we gotta hang out.
um, yeah. So I don't know. If you guys have any other questions or anything quick, otherwise I'll wrap this up. Let me know. Should probably actually go have dinner soon. I know Shuk's got to get to Taco Bell, so. <sighs> okay, cool. Well, if there's no other questions... I will let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. I know it's going back to work tomorrow, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, in any case, talk to you guys later. Thank you all so much for joining. Hassan, have an amazing time in Malaysia. That's awesome. Shuk, enjoy the heck out of your Taco Bell. Also excellent. Not as not as impressive as Malaysia. I'm sorry, it's, it's Taco Bell, but still good time, I think. In any case, thank you everyone for joining. Good night, guys, and uh, have a good rest of your weekend. All right, good night.